Good morning, family. This is your beloved brother, Minister Melvin. I am your beloved brother and minister. I am both me and my father, God in heaven. We're not your dogs. You know, family, I'm going to go ahead and keep it all the way a thousand with you. My brother, Grand Master Jay, is serving time in prison over what happened to our beloved sister down in Kentucky. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Ken, Ken, Kentucky to Brianna Taylor and what was happening over there when they crooked polices, white supremacists ran off up in there with, with badges they ran off into the wrong house. And so Grandmaster Jay went down there to make sure to shed some light and put a spotlight on top of what was going on to highlight the existence of two white supremacy and lynchings, modern day lynchings, that had lynchings that go way back hundreds of years since they came over here and stole our land, which we, the black people, so-called Negro, so-called black people, we were already over here in these Americas before they got here, brought their funky asses over here. Damn it. And everything has been going downhill ever since. And the bad part about it is they shot and killed Breonna Taylor. She was in that house. Y'all remember the story when they shot and killed our sister. And uh, so consequently, free Grandmaster Jay. Now, secondly, one of the things that I want to talk about, beloved brothers and sisters, is the simple fact that we're looking at what's going on right now with Ahmaud Arbery. My brother Grandmaster Jay went down there to make a statement and to do some shit. To he showed up with guns. The, go the government didn't like that. He showed up with legal guns. A lot of white supremacists didn't like that. They did everything in their power to stop us from being awakened to what's really going on by giving us distractions and reality shows and to raise our children and our babies, because I got babies, our babies in. Let the internet raise our babies. Let the fast food restaurants feed our babies. But Ahmaud Arbery, you have a lot of white supremacists over there dealing with that situation. Uh, you know, they gunned Ahmaud Arbery down, shot him down like a dog chased them down with pickup trucks like the whole community came out against them, shot them down and the fam now the the white family of the white supremacists and the kkks kkkkkkkkkkk take three k's put them all together kill 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 it's all about kill steal and destroy and y'all still playing with all this like it's a damn toy well these white people down there is, is, has come out against Ahmaud Arbery after they already lynched him. Damn it! And they paying money to help those boys that went down for that. Those white boys, you bitches, to go help them dirty mother mo, mo holes. Cause they more holes and mo holes and holes hole holes ho ho ho. Fuck that fat hole too. Let them slide down my chimney. Give me a gone hole. Now listen, it's like this right here. These white folks is paying all this money to help them racists overturn that hate crime bill because they don't want to be connected with their family name, white name, connected to what happened when they lynched our brother down there. These bastards rolling up under Christ, the white one, and they mad at Putin for giving us the right one. You know, beloved brothers and sisters, we go up back in today. You did. You did. So, what are we forced with? What are we going through? We going through every damn thing that we don't supposed to be going through because we look like Christ through 
and through. So pay attention to what's going on. It ain't about a religion with God. He's trying to get us all back together in unity and to teach us that black melanated body organs, black body organs are for the black market. Assalamu alaikum.